Somebody said that's where the problem is. No, 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 no. Don't, don't look like this here. No, no. Look at yourself and say, this is where the problem is. Uh-huh. If he abide in me, and my word abide in you, he shall ask what he will, and it shall be done. Well, I pray that the Lord will hurry up and Give me a miracle financial need because I'm in a need now. And then they about ready to close my house up and take it from me. I need a blessing. I need to be delivered. I'm not saved and I want to get saved. But you got to meet the condition. They get a full close on your house, meet the condition. Yeah, but you don't understand, preacher. I'm tired of giving and nothing coming in. Meet the condition. Every time I say something else, you say, meet the condition. Every time you say, yes, Lord, meet the condition. Every time you say, Lord, do what you want. Lord, have your way in my life. No, y'all ain't saying the lie. I need somebody over here. Every time you say, Lord, help me. What the, the apostle want, whatever he need. I'm here for a special reason. And I'm going to show you that the word cannot lie. Well, I know that. Well, if you know that, well, you're still in trouble. See, sometimes 
God can't bless us because of our attitude. You see, sometimes God can send a person to you in small stature and do more than the one that's in the big stature. Because, see, you're looking at them in stature. Well, he ain't got it like. See, and here God, as this, the parable said, the king came and knocked on the door. And the person said, yeah, it's Tony. How can I help you? He's all raggedy. Say, I just want a slice of bread. Well, ain't no bread here. Pow! <laughs> Didn't know that was the law. <laughs> See, God come in many forms and many shapes. And if you ain't together, you'll miss your blessing. my word abide in you. You look at the letter F. It's crooked. Look at it. Just look at the top of it when it curves. It's crooked. See, in other words, if you know F my word abide in you, I don't know I can get any farther than that, but if my word abide in you, you can ask. Now, what's your problem? How many know they're still in boot camp? Let me see your hand. I don't know why I'm on this subject, but I keep hearing boot camp. And now I'm going to show you, you that's in boot camp. God is getting ready to prepare you. And I believe that this is it. The church is coming back like it used to be. I used to hear Apostle Hinton preach, say, a time going to come where preachers don't have to worry about their church being full up. Because, see, God going to bag you up into a corner. See, you don't have to worry about them coming to the altar, praying and crying out before the Lord. You're going to cry out. You're going to fast. Nobody have to tell you. Tell me, I'm on a, a, a fast. Which I, I, I denied to watch the television, and, and, and I stopped eating peanuts, and I won't eat it. Peanuts into action. No, I'm talking about this other kind of fast that we used to do in yesteryears. When you got down there fast, you didn't have no water, you didn't have no juice, you didn't have no bread, you didn't have no peanut butter sandwich, you didn't have no banana, you had nothing but Jesus. Lift them hands and say glory. Lift them hands and say glory. Somebody got to know what I'm talking about. We prayed all night. We got drunk in the Holy Ghost. We staggered talking in tongues. But now we ain't got so dignified. We get down on our knees. And we say, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And get up. And think that's all to it. But baby, you forgot something. If you're down in boot camp, you better get ready for the battle. If my word abide in you, you can ask for what you will. Look at Isaiah 54, 17. This is one of the prophecy that God gave me some time ago, a number of years, when the late Bishop D. Washington was living, go in his office and sit down, the Lord would speak out his mind. He said, son, no weapon. 